Hey everyone, welcome back to effect for you channel. Today we are creating effect like this. So let's start it. First create a new comp. I am using 1280 by 720 pixel 25 frame per second. Now, drag your image into timeline, and convert this image into 3D layer. And scale down if image too long. Now create a new camera, I am using 35mm lens preset. Select your image layer and press P on keyboard, and edit Z value around 1000. Now, press S and increase image to size of comp. Now select camera layer, and press P. Now, zoom in our image, little bit front of camera. And add a keyframe on this position. Now go to 4 to 5 second forward, and reset the position keyframe. Now drag lens dust particle image, into timeline. And make this layer 3D layer, and hit toggle switch mode, and change mode normal to screen. Now, resize image according to comp size. Now select the lens dust particle layer, hit P, and change the Z position. It's look good for me. Now select the second dust particle image, and drag into timeline, and change mode normal to screen. Hit toggle switches mode and make this layer also into 3D layer. Now hit P and change the Z position little bit close to camera. Go to the last keyframe, and resize dust particle layer according to comp. It's look good for me. Now create an adjustment layer. Go to effect and preset, and search optics compensation. Apply this effect into adjustment layer, go to first frame of adjustment layer, and add a keyframe, and change the value around 70. Make sure check the reverse lens distortion. So it's look little bit lens distortion effect. Now, go to around 1 second, and add a keyframe, change value 70 to 0. Now select the first dust layer, and press P for position, and add a wiggle expression for little bit camera shake. Copy this expression, and paste it rest both images. Select all the layer, and pre-comp them. Now, go to project window and duplicate slide 1 comp and drag into the timeline, double click the slide 2 comp. Now we want to change our background image, select the second image on project window, press and hold alt, and drag image over our current background layer, our background image changed, without losing any effect. Press S for scale, if your image too large. Go to last keyframe, and resize according to comp. We done our image parallax effect, this text effect are additional. If you want use this effect without text, so you can skip this part, and watch our another tutorial by clicking card, on upper right corner. Now, select text tool and type what you want. Now select shape tool, 
and create a rectangle shape around our text. Move the text layer above the shape layer and make both layer into 3D layer. Hit toggle switches mode and change matte, alpha inverted matte, so our text look transparent. Select both layer and pre-comp them. Convert this comp into 3D comp and resize the text comp size. Now, go to first frame of text comp, and zoom in the text position out of the camera. It's look good for me, now double click on text comp, and adjust our text middle of shape layer. Now move slide 2 comp around 5 second forward. Go to first frame of slide 2 comp, and hit S for scaling and press Shift T for opacity. Add keyframe on scale, and scaling comp around 450%, and opacity 0%. Go to few frame forward and set scale and opacity 100%. Now, select both keyframe, Right click, go to keyframe assistant, and easy ease them, and make a graph like this. Ram preview this. Perfect, it's look good for me. Now, Double click on slide 2 comp, go to project window, and duplicate the text composition. Now drag the text 2 composition into timeline, and convert into 3D layer. Now adjust the text 2 composition by scaling and positioning. Double click on text 2 composition. And change the text, as you wish. Ram preview this. If you think your text too small, you can scaling and positioning any time. Ram preview this again. Perfect. Thanks for watching. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, subscribe our channel and hit like button. I'll see you the next video.